key. See how these black objects are. This. Watch that 420 on spot. They're going for it. Get in that. Let's see. 420 break. Yes, sir. Three cents. Let's go, baby. Six cents. Contract low key moving a little bit. Four percent. It's a dream come true. Seven cents is crazy. Nine cents. Oh, there we go. Keep going. Contracts are moving. Six percent. Six and a half. All right, not bad. It's five, but um, can you just give it like a little more? It's because we anticipated that. It's the only reason why those contracts really started moving. Cause it didn't even break 420 yet before we got in. I want to see if they break that 4227, but this wants to try and reverse a little bit, so definitely start position sizing correctly. But just want to see if they break these 20s or not. Take a, a spy miracle for it to break the twenties at this point. Look at the cues trying to come back down. They're still trying to hold that four twenty. That was crazy. Tens. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Buy spy. Red to green be nuts. Yeah, they did. Oh my gosh, I was just kidding. Spy, that's crazy. <laughs> Red to green into the twenties. Into the twenties. Come on. Alright, give us a little more break. Oh yes, sir. Right into the 30s. Yeah, for real. Break the 30s. Here comes the 30s. Nice. Out. Out. Let's go. W Monday. Full in, full out. Plus 15% on SPY. W day. And the Phillies play today. Let's hopefully we get a W day on that as well. Absolute banger. Great way to start the week off. Love it. W day, perfect way to start off this new week. Monday, we're coming in strong on SPY. You guys seen how much I made on the day. And let's go over the trade itself. Now, we were looking at Tesla. We were looking at NVIDIA. And we were going to trade some downside levels on Tesla. But the first three minutes of open, you know, we usually don't take that, number one. Number two... We had no pullback. If we had a pullback here and then a continuation, that 208 would have been nice. But this thing literally went without us and it just kept dropping into that 205, which sucks, but it's all right. We move on to the next trade. We're looking at NVIDIA. Now we are looking at that 408 to the downside, never happened. And then potentially that 414, but you know, I wasn't ready for it. And that thing just went without us right there. So again, you don't get FOMO, you don't get emotional. You just wait for the best or leave the rest. Now we were looking at SPY, we we're looking at that 420. Now I wasn't really looking at this thing because the pre-market, you guys can see like it looks kind of weird. Like it's not the best price action in the world. Like it's all right. And 420 is a psychological level, but you know, it wasn't the best, but we did react at the high day exactly at 420, 420.01. So that's a good reaction. 
Then it came down to this 418. This is where I started picking up some more long term at 418 on SPY, and it just so happens to be that low a day, which is insane. I literally said I'm buying when it goes under 418. You guys see that in the Discord as well if you guys are in that or in the Patreon. But this thing came right back up, and this thing was looking really, really strong. And that daily definitely could have bounced. So that's exactly what I was looking for. Looking on the daily right here could definitely bounce in that area, and that's exactly what happened. So that's why I was really looking at this 420 now. And we had a nice reaction here. I didn't want to get my hopes up because you guys saw how Tesla was. It literally just went without us. So I wasn't really trying to get my hopes up. But as soon as this candle went red and, you know, rejected in that 420 area, that's what made me really interested. I was looking at the H, came down, then came right back up. I anticipated it right before the 420 break. Thank goodness because those contracts got juiced as soon as 420 broke. Like we would have missed out on like an extra 4 or 5% just right there. So I'm glad that we got in right here, right before the 420 break. Came up to the 20s. Now I was looking at that 27 area, which is right here, the high of that candle. That's what I was looking for at the break. It came down a little bit, came up, came down, still reacting there. So, you know, I was just waiting. Sticking to my stop loss, it was just right around those 80s. We would have lost about like 5% or so. So it came down, it was red, but I saw Q's went red to green while SPY was already down here. So I was like, if Q's could do it, why can't spy? This is what maybe not get out too early at all. You know, I could have just got out right there for a very small loss, but I just decided not to because of the cues. And I just waited. Next thing you know, this candle goes red to green. This thing breaks the twenties, goes to the thirties, and comes back down the twenties. I wanted a bigger break at that twenty-seven area, and I just waited a few more seconds. It was patient, didn't hesitate. As soon as it went to the forties, that's when I sold. Now Dash just calculated my PL wrong um the whole thing trade zealous says i made 14.36 percent i could also include a screenshot right here as well so usually das doesn't get their PL wrong it only gets the percentage wrong but it kind of got both wrong which is like a little weird but it's all right you know i checked my finger swim we're good you know my highest sell was that 169 170 area on the contracts even though it says 161 it's just like this is sometimes how DAS is. It doesn't give like the exact sells and buys, especially if it's volatile like that. You guys saw where I sold at. I, you know, next thing you know, it was in the 30s and went right to the 40s as I was selling. So I literally got like the best price because it pushed into where I sold at. But it really only does that on like volatile moves and stuff like that. But either way, such a nice move. A little 14, 15% or full in, full out on a Monday. Great way to start the week off. I live trade every single morning. Link is in the description below. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.